your Imperial Majesty, Geralt of Rivia, and... Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, Queen of Sintra, Princess of Bruges, and Duchess of Sutton. Heiress to Innes Ard Skellig and Innes Ann Skellig, and suzerain of Atra and Abiara. Get used to it. Before long, every soul from Nilfgaard to the Dragon Mountains will kneel before you. I did not expect you to keep your word, Witcher. Ciri wanted to hear what you have to say. And she will. Your reward. Didn't come to collect on a deal. You asked me to bring your daughter here. I did just that. Siri will hear you out, then we leave. Are you sure? Never again would you need to stalk monsters while wading through sewage. I'm sure. I understand. Honor prevents you from accepting coins. In that case, a stallion, a thoroughbred milf guardian, awaits you in the stables. Treat it as an expression of my gratitude. Thank you. Now forgive me. I wish to speak to my daughter. Follow me, sir. White Wolf, good to see you. Greetings, General. You had no trouble crossing the Ponta, I trust. None. I take it you crossed via the ford near Van Glien? It's fortunate you did not choose to ride through Rhind. A troubled region still. Radovid seeks to breach the front in the west. But he'll not succeed. Not before the princess becomes empress and we bring order to the area. Siri hasn't agreed to that yet. Yes, of course, she's tactful, not one to celebrate an offer not yet made. But this is not the kind of offer one refuses. Isn't it? Do you know any who would not like to be Emperor of Nilfgaard? Can you imagine? I thought only the wine-addled minds of bards and poets could give birth to such stories. The prodigal daughter of the most powerful ruler in the continent's history returns on the eve of his final triumph to embrace her inheritance. <laughs> Simpletons adore such stories as they do the princesses, ever beautiful and delicate who are the... Geralt, we're leaving. So nice to see you, my lady. Likewise. Time we were on our way. A shame you can't stay. I hope to continue this on another occasion. That makes one of us. Well? If he thinks he can buy me, he is sorely mistaken. He offer anything specific? Yes, very specific. And thoroughly absurd. Sorry, I don't want to talk about it. Not now, at least. Won't pressure you. When you're ready, let's go.